Hey guys, this is me, Glitchy Nick, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the spline effect. Um, it's basically the rope effect you see in some of my videos. So, for example, it's somewhere right here. Okay, you can see that rope behind the text. Okay, and now there's another example. You see the rope? It's coming like that. That's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. So, all you need is Cinema 4D. And what you're going to do is, hold on, I'm going to exit this project. Make a new project. And make sure you have your render settings. So it's like 1280 by 720 AVI movie. And make sure... You go to options and click Intel I Y U V codec. Click OK. Now you're gonna make a new material. Click on the material. Mm. Click texture. Load image. And click um on any cinematic you have. Make sure it's a JPEG and click yes. Now you can remove specular because it'll look better without it and click and hold on the light right here and click background you're gonna drag the material onto the background make sure it has a down arrow on it now you're gonna create your text go to MoGraph Mo Text. create your text I'm gonna make mine 80 and click on the font you want if you guys want this font, it's Typograph Pro. Yeah. And if this tutorial gets, uh, like, at least 15 likes, I'll make a tutorial on how to make a Cinema 4D floor. Basically, make it look really good with shadows. Because if you don't use a floor and use the right settings, it won't look very good without the shadows before right now yeah so load a material that you want to use for the text I'm gonna use a chrome or actually I'm gonna use a dark grunge and drag it onto the mo text there you go now um we're gonna start the rope effect you're gonna click on the rope thing click and hold and click visor basically you're gonna click on this gray area outside of the picture and it's basically like the Photoshop pen tool. You're gonna click on another point, hold it, and then adjust it like that. Do it again. Oh, that's that was pretty ugly. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah once you do that click on the text in the box click and hold click sweep nerves and click and hold on the rope and click circle drag the spline first into the sweep nerves and make sure it's a down arrow then drag the circle down to the sweep nerves so it's a uh, down arrow so this happens if you get something else like this yeah you, you have to just move it down be, uh, beneath the circle what you're gonna do, since it looks really big, you're gonna uh, put the radius down to 50 on the circle. Just click on the circle and put it down to 50, or whatever you want. I'm gonna put it down to 20, actually. Now, you get this. You can um, adjust it. If you want to make it perfect, you're gonna have to click on here. And you're gonna have to go into one of these modes from top. You, all you do is go like that, 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 that. But uh, people also use this way, because I'll show you why in a second. Well, you're oh, hold on, guys. Got a phone call. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, yeah. Now, you click on the sweep nerves, and you can rotate it if you want. I'm going to show you something in a sec. Just keep on rotating it like that. It'll come like that sooner. Nope. 
There. A little more down. A little more. There. Okay. Now, here's the trick. It's not really a trick, but yeah. Um, I'm going to change it to 15. There. Nope. Change it to 10. And if you guys want to adjust the spline a little, click on the spline. Click type. Oh, na naturally, you know. No, don't do that. But click on uh, intermediate points. You can click uniform. As you can see, it changes. Adaptive. But I'm just going to do natural. Or what, what did I have? None? No. Whatever. Oh my gosh. This is kind of bugging me right now. Okay, just put natural. I don't know what I had. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to mess. Okay. Um, what you guys want to do now? There's these little points on the spline where you, what you can move. So you click on the ends of the splines and you, you can go like this. You can see it moves. Make sure it goes over the gray. Now you can click on this. Go like that. And then this. No, actually the bottom. And go like that. Now you you want to move it so either the text goes closer. So what you do, you just drag the text forward. And now if you render it, looks yeah, it looks pretty good. And that's basically what you do. Um, basically, uh, what's it called? What's it called? All you do is to you have to click this uh these this circle thing in the middle and click end growth on sweep nerves click zero and keyframe it with this key button then go to like 90 yet. that's what I do and click a hundred so now you can see it goes like that and um now I'm gonna give you guys like a little result and it's just going to be a render in C4D, but with the shadows, if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to do the shadows, this tutorial is to get 15 likes, so, yeah. Hey guys, okay, so this is the final result. Um, yeah, so basically that's the final result. If you want me to give you a tutorial on that, the shadows, and how to make the text look better, just... Yeah, 15 likes on this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. You can, uh, by the way, you can also change the ma uh, material for the um, spline. All you have to do is click whatever material, and then drag it onto your uh, sweep nerves. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please uh, visit my channel. At least take a look at one of my edits, and please subscribe. Um, please be active too. And that's all. Yeah. Please, guys. Thanks. So, yeah, this is about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, see ya.